What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Sarah from Sarah Styles here, where data empowers true potential, and I show you the power of your numbers. In today's video, I am going to break it down for you how much resellers actually make. I am going to show you gross revenue, compare it to net, and then I am going to show you how to make the chart in Google Sheets as well. So stay tuned. for joining. If you're new here, I am a mom of three and who is a reseller on Poshmark and eBay, other various different sites here and there. I also have a degree in mathematics and have three dashboards available for the reseller to be able to look at your data and your numbers to figure out what is working, what's not working, and how to hit your potential. Wherever you are in your reselling journey, looking at your numbers to be able to make what you would like to make. This channel, as well as my Instagram, are dedicated to helping you figure out those numbers, showing you tips and tricks, data-driven strategies based off of numbers to help you get to where you want to go. So if you like content like that, do make sure to subscribe. Please consider giving me a like on the way out if you like this content. Save it for future references and also share with your friends if you do like it. So let's get into it. Today's video, I want to talk about gross revenue and net revenue how much resellers actually make. So gross revenue is going to be your top line. It is going to include your everything. This is how much someone pays for an item. It includes shipping and fees and how much you paid for an item and how much it runs for a business. This is your gross revenue. This is going to be the majority of what you see on social media. Um, and not to say that it's a lie. It is actually how much the brand, the company they're making, but it is the top number. It is not how much resellers are actually bringing home, putting into their bank account to pay their mortgage. So if you're interested in becoming a reseller or maybe going full time, or you're just curious, like, is this a legit job? Can people make money at it? I'm going to show you some numbers and data, and then I will show you how to look, how to create this chart in Google Sheets as well. So let's get into it. This is, if you're new to my channel, this is the Sarah Styles sales and trends dashboard. This is one of the dashboards that is for sale on my website, sarahstylesllc.com. You import your data. You can put all of the platforms on here. So if you Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Tradesies, ThreadUp, I mean, there's so many of them and they're constantly changing. All of that can be put in here and then you can have access to all of your numbers and data to be able to look at it and hit your true potential. Today, I'm going to look at gross revenue. So this is telling me my gross revenue. Everything in here is on a gross revenue because there's a lot of factors that uh, each are different for each business. Down here, it does split out my cost of goods, my shipping, and my fees. Not necessarily all of the other things like all of those hangers and the racks and marketing expenses that it costs to run my business, but this is going to be the most split out that you see in my dashboard. All of the numbers in here are going to be gross revenue. I'm gonna share a graph with you guys in a minute that I created for the purpose of this video, and then I'll show you how to create the graph as well, comparing gross to net. So gross revenue is my top. Currently, um, we are, I'm filming this on October 23rd. Hopefully it gets out in the next couple of weeks because I'm a mom and it takes me some time to film and edit and upload. But $45,000 so far as of October, my gross revenue, 28, over 20, 28 days over 28 days is 9,000. And this is how much I'm currently sitting at for October. It, the month is not done, but so far selling items on eBay and Poshmark, I have made $7,302 on these platforms. If you want to look at a previous month, we can come up here and look at one of my top grossing months. 6,000, so this is actually one of my top grossing months, uh, $7,300, and it's not even over yet. If you're interested in making this amount of money, make sure to hit that subscribe button for tips and tricks and how I am able to make that amount of money as a mom of three. But what I want to show you is the difference between net and gross. Those gross numbers are amazing. I'm very proud of them. I work really hard um, strategically to figure out how to make that income, but the difference between gross and net. And this is something if you're going to go into the business or 
even if you're reselling, what you are selling an item for is not what you're going to be taking home and you need to realistically look at that. This is a chart of my gross income versus my net income. Gross is going to be on the left here in the blue and then the darker color is going to be my net. So this is how much I made once I took out all of my expenses, my marketing, my cost of goods, you know, how much I spent on the items and all of that. This is how much I made as a percent of my gross income. So 53%, 65%, those are good percents, but you can see sometimes down here, I was negative because I'm running a business. In April, I decided I needed to buy a new computer. My computer was just not working. It kept crashing on me. I needed to buy a computer. I am business of one. I don't have, I used to work in corporate America where I'd be like, I need a new computer and someone would bring me a new computer and my paycheck would stay the same. That's not the case when you own your own business. I needed a new computer. I was negative 1%. I took no income in April because I needed a new computer. Um, you can see some other months here and there. And then August, I was negative as well in August because I decided to start buying purchasing pallets. The reason, so when you buy a pallet, it's a large amount at, it, at one time. So I had to, all the money that I made in August and had saved as well, I purchased a pallet with, which meant in August, I actually did not make any money. I'm gonna touch on, I'm not gonna get into it because this is not a financial channel, but I am going to touch on it. I was not negative in my bank account. I have a saving account um, and money a lot, you know, money that I save for expenses and whatever it is. But if you want to look strictly on how much I made in August versus how much I spent in August, I spent more money than I made in August because I purchased a pallet. And I also, like I said, I have a savings account. So I, so that I'm able to purchase pallets or computers or whatever it is. So all of the money that I make, I don't necessarily put into my bank account to go to, you know, pay the mortgage or whatever it is, I put a lot of it back into the business so that I am able to continue to grow. If you want to grow, you have to put more money into your business. I wouldn't have been able to buy a pallet had I not decided to not take an income. However, it's paid off because now I am making more revenue um, and my net is back up. So if you're curious, you see those gross numbers that you see on social media. I make, you know, a hundred thousand um, dollars. This is a realistic look. I'm not saying everyone's look it looks like this, but they're running a business. There's going to be highs and lows. The gross number that you see is not the net that they take home. This is a realistic picture of how much money I am actually taking home from how much money that I make. So now, do you guys wanna create a chart like this too? That is one of the questions that I get a lot, um, things that people want to see. So drop notes down below if you guys like the Google Sheets tutorial, uh, maybe I'll do it in a separate video as well, or if there's certain things in Google Sheets that you would like to see. So Google Sheets, type in Google Sheets in Google, um, and then click on the link. What I like about Google Sheets, it's if you have Excel, you can use Excel as well. Some things differ a little bit, but for the most part, they're gonna be close enough that you can figure it out. Um, you go here, create a new spreadsheet. This is your new spreadsheet. Google Sheets is available anywhere that you can get on Google, and you create a spreadsheet. Here you can log in at grandma's house and still have access to the spreadsheet. It is free. That's my favorite part about it. I think it's very important for everyone to have access to their numbers and data, and that's why I show you guys things in Google Sheets. I do have a course coming out where everything that I talk about on my channel is going to be condensed and step-by-step. -step. I'm going to be teaching it to you, hands-on activities. There's going to be a lot of Google Sheets tutorials as well where I talk about a concept and then I show you how to do it in Google Sheets. So keep an eye out for that course. Or if you're watching this um, in the future, the link should be down below or on my website, www.sarahstyles.com. So best practice, name your sheet. So we're going to call this gross versus net. Also best practice is to create a heading so that you know what you're doing. So we're going to create a month. We're going to say this is our gross, this is our net, and this is our percent difference. And then I'm just going to make up data here. So we'll say January. Oh, that's not January. January enter January, February is the next month, enter March. We'll do three months, right? And then come over to gross. 
and you can just make up a number or use, I mean, use your numbers, right? I'll just make up a number. We'll say you made $400, you made 300 and then you made $600. That's 60, sorry. I have my computer like set up a little bit, so it's kind of harder to type. Um, and then highlight these. And if you hit this little money sign up here, it makes it a currency. And then you can also hit these, these decimal places, either give you more decimal places or take them away. Um, I, there's no decimals here, so I can take them away. You can leave them if you'd like. If you have decimals and you'd like to see it, it's completely up to you. Uh, Net, let's say I made $150. Uh, 240 and 350. Okay. And I'm also going to make these a currency as well. Percent difference, hit the equal sign, and then you can come over here and click on it. We're going to divide our net divided by our gross and hit enter. And then I'm going to copy this. So I can do control C or I can right click and do copy. If you're on a Mac, it's a uh, command C. And then highlight these two and hit control V. And then I want this as a percent. So again, I highlight this and I hit the percent up here. I don't like to see all those decimal places. So I'm gonna hide them. Um, one other thing that's best practice, just so that it looks nice and pretty, is to make this a header. So we'll make it a different color and then control B to make it bold, or you can come up here and hit bold. Just so you know that's the header, this is the data. So you guys created a chart, that's exciting. Now let's make a graph. So insert, up here gonna go insert, you're going to hit chart, and then over here, Excuse me, let me move myself out of the way. Um, over here, you are going to click the kind of chart that you like. There's so many options here, but for the sake of this video, we're going to do a column chart and then click data range. And this is the data that we want. You can highlight it if you are selecting certain cells. So if there was more data down beneath that I didn't want, I would just highlight these right, A1 through A4. For the sake of this, I can highlight the whole column because I'm likely going to be adding data like next month I'll add another month and another month. So you can highlight the whole column. Okay, so I want that data. I also want B, add another range. I also want C, add another range. I also want the percent difference. Hit okay, and now we have a chart. Yay! So now we're just gonna kind of make it pretty, um, get rid of some things that it did. So percent difference, I actually don't want that as part of the chart. I want it as a label. So I'm gonna come down here to series. This is telling me my three series that I have in the chart. I am going to remove it, but I want it as a data label for my net. So under net, I'm going to click these three little dots and hit add labels. Um, and it automatically does month, but if I click on it, it lets me pick which label I want. So I'm going to do percent, and now I have a percent there, right? So there we go. Um, and then let's add a little labels. Best practice is going to be label your chart so you know what you're looking at, especially if you come back in a couple months and you're like, what was I looking at? What was I doing? Or in my sake, you know, I make dashboards for everybody, so you want to have a chart for everybody. Chart title, so you want to click on custom. Sorry, I was talking. We were on setup, click custom. And then if you click this down arrow for charts and access titles, and then you can, whichever ones that you want, we'll do a chart title and we'll call it gross versus net. And then we can do a subtitle and let's say this is for Poshmark sales, right? So it's gonna give you a little subtitle. You can see right here, it gives you a little subtitle. Um, for the sake of this, we'll do it, but months, um, January, February, March, you know, those are months. So sometimes you don't like, I probably wouldn't have put a title there cause you already know it's a month. Um, and then it kind of compresses the chart, but just for the sake of the video to show you guys, and then a vertical axis as well, we can put revenue. And now you guys have a little chart. I'm gonna show you one other little thing um, just to make it pretty if you don't want it red and green. If you double click on the bar, it'll bring you here. If you're going to do it yourself, you go up to customs and then if you click on series, 
um, it'll tell you the series and you can change the color. So, I mean, I don't care, it doesn't matter. Best practice is that's a really bright color. Probably don't do that color, maybe yellow. Um, and then net, I can change my net as well. We'll make it blue. Go Broncos, go Steelers. Is that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't follow uh, football. We'll make it Broncos colors because I'm in Colorado. How's that? And boom. Go Broncos. So there you guys go. You created a chart and now you know how much resellers actually make. So drop notes down below if you guys have questions. If you want to see more Google tutorials, let me know if you, this was helpful. If you still have more questions, let me know if there's certain things in Google Sheets that you would like to know. Let me know. Um, I am here to empower you and learning how to use spreadsheets is part of that as well as copying and pasting them and having all those charts um, in one of my dashboards or if there's other things that you want to look at. I want to be here to help you, empower you, to teach you your numbers so that you guys can hit your truest potential. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. If you like this, save this for later so you can come back and Remember how to do that Google Sheets tutorial and share it with friends if you think that they would be interested in this as well and have a great day.